back, everyone. Summer is a time for a break from school, but not necessarily sports. Dr. Stacy Zimmerman, a pediatric sports medicine physician at Intermountain Health, and Emmy Devinney is here as a gymnast and also someone who had to go through the program because you broke your ankle. Welcome. Thanks so much for having us. <laughs> this is wonderful. All right, let's talk about first preventing injuries, Dr. Stacy Zimmerman. Uh, how do we do that? What would be the first step? Because a lot of kids are going back into training right now. Yes, yeah, you bring up a wonderful point. It's the summertime. Kids are really excited to get back into training. And some of them are doing it um, just with their friends or in an unsupervised way. So there's a couple important steps that they can take to help keep them safe. One really important step, and it's a great time to do that, is to get your sports physical. It's a time to meet with your doctor, and they can help uh, be able to identify things that you might need to change specific to you uh, to help keep you safe. Another big point is to make sure that you're planning and preparing your body for the new activities that you're going to participate in. Um, and so th uh, sometimes that requires appropriate warming up, which we may not think about when we're outside playing. The stretching, the getting back to it, because when you go into training, you go from zero to 100 sometimes. Exactly. Um, and some uh, patients or, or athletes have had an opportunity to be in an environment with a team like Emmy and, and, and be coached on how to prepare. And some of us haven't. And so it's really important uh, to look at really valuable resources that we have out there um, through Intermountain Health on how you can work on strengthening your body and preparing for those types of exercises. Well, I look at this video and I'm very familiar with Tosh over there and I'm sure Emmy is as well. Emmy, let's talk about your, your story about what happened to you. Um, so yeah, I broke it like last year um, and then it didn't really heal that well. So then I got surgery. I mean, that must have been really sad to go from competing as a high performing gymnast to, oh no, I've got to heal. And also it's not healing properly. Yeah, um, it was kind of hard, but I was doing level four again. So I didn't really miss that much of the season. But it was still disappointing a little bit to not be able to do it. Okay, so after surgery happens, you say, okay, you have Dr. Stacy Zimmerman here to help you through therapy. What did you go through? Um, so my physical therapist was Dak. He was really great. Um, I did running on the treadmill for the first time. That was cool. I'd never run on a treadmill before. Um, and Dak also helped you do some strengthening exercises yeah. and some specific stretches to help you recover from your ankle injury, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so some of the exercises uh, as we put together our program are tailored towards the specific joint that was injured, but some of them are really important to support the joints and structures around that. So the core, um, the uh, hips, for example, even for an ankle injury. And Emmy has done a fantastic job working through this whole recovery process. Do we want to demo some of these uh, exercises? I think that would be great. That I mean, would be really Really cool sure. and I think part of it is the mental strengthening because when you're down and out it can get you really sad about getting to where you want to be or where you were before the injury so what are some of the exercises that helped you Emmy do you um, want to demo sure I did lots of heel raises okay yeah let's go ahead and set up and show them so yeah, I did heel raises okay um, and I also did some like single leg balancing um, on that bozu ball. Should we bring that yes. in? Yes, let's yeah. show people let's what you can do. Them. And knowing that it's only been a year since this happened, I think that's amazing. So some of these skills are so important because it helps to prime the nervous system to be able to have that stability and control. And look at how wonderful she's doing and being able to use those muscles to give her her stability And you can control. see the shaking. That means it's you're working on your core, right. you're working on the strength, and you do that on both sides no uh, matter yeah. what ankle was so, broken, correct. right? Yeah, we would like to maintain that balance. And you learn new skills as you go through physical therapy, so it's great to have those. Okay, so you talked about the heel raises, balance training. What's the hollow hold? Oh, could you show them that? This so, is something that she's really uniquely able to do. I do these do. a lot. Yeah. Usually we do them for like a minute, so it's just where you go like that. And why don't you turn this way here? Okay. Turn this way, so okay. So we can highlight a couple of points. So oh. she's got her back up off the floor, her feet up off the floor, really engaging that core. Um, and that's such a great core stability exercise that she's really great at doing. Why would that be really important when it comes to your limbs and your ankle strengthening? Well, you know, you hear that song, the hip bones connected to the knee bone. Um, so the core serves as a really important foundation for any overhead exercises, but also for lower extremity exercises to give you that foundation for all the other motions to build around that. 
And so it's a really important uh, skill set that we work on uh, for our young athletes. Okay, a last stretch is the hamstring. What did you do yeah. for that? So usually you go like, you sit like this, mm -hmm. and then you just. Okay. Yeah, look at that level of flexibility she's able to demonstrate. And all of that you had to work on once, you almost have to start over once you have a, a pretty severe injury, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, tell me what your future holds now. Are you competing um, again? Yeah, so I'm planning on doing either five or six this season. What does that mean? Oh, the uh, gymnastics is broken up into different levels. Ah. Um, and so you'll get up to level 10 and then progress on. And, and many of us are um, really excited about seeing the Olympics coming up and seeing those gymnasts compete at the highest oh level. Oh my gosh, Emmy, I'm so proud of you as well as your team. So congratulations. Keep on going every level and every step of the way. We'll be rooting for you, okay? Yeah. All right, I think you did a phenomenal job in therapy and learn more about Intermountain Health's athletic sports program training and injury prevention program. I think everyone can also benefit whether you have an injury or not. Yes, that's absolutely true. So please join us at intermountainhealth.org for opportunities to learn more. Thank you to the both of you. Good luck. Thank you. And thank you to Intermountain Health for sponsoring this interview. 